Here at home, reaction to what's happening overseas has just been devastating. Right now, the Jewish Federation of Cleveland is holding a community gathering in support of Israel. And Kai Torque is with us live from Beechwood there, um, where they're, they're just trying to find some comfort and some strength in each other. Kai Torque, what are you seeing in them tonight? Well, hundreds of people gathered here tonight in somber prayer, wearing buttons that say Cleveland stands with Israel, describing what's happening overseas as a living nightmare. This is the Israeli version of 9-11. The terrorist group Hamas launched a surprise and unprecedented attack. Case Western University law professor Anat Alan Beck calling this weekend's attack on Israel incomprehensible. Please pray for the state of Israel. Her Israeli colleague, history professor Ina Rabinovich Fox, worried sick for her loved ones. Yes, I have both families and friends who are um, in the midst of that. Um, some of them um, died, um, some of them are missing still, um, and it's a very difficult time um, really to to be here and um, to worry about them. All across Northeast Ohio, the Jewish community feeling shock and fear. So what they are telling me is it is the darkest time that Israel has ever experienced. Hallie Abrams of Chagrin Falls has two nephews, cousins and friends trying to survive the chaos. They've never seen death and destruction like this. The Jewish Federation of Cleveland held a community gathering Monday night to comfort not only these women, but many more feeling the pain and uncertainty right now. This is about a community standing strong and being resolute in our, our stance against terror and in our support of those um, who are going through unspeakable um, uh, trauma right now as we speak. The Jewish Federation of Cleveland has a Cleveland Stands with Israel fund that they're encouraging everyone in the community to donate to. They have a link on their website for anyone that's interested in helping out. Christy. Good to know. Kai Torque, we appreciate it. Thank you. And by the way, up uh, next right here, Lester Holt anchors a special edition of NBC Nightly News from Israel. Lester made his way inside the country from Jordan after more than four and a half hours at the border. We've got a large team from NBC who will be going to the border in a caravan. There's a little bit of urgency in that it's a two and a half hour drive and the border is closing at odd hours. So we want to get there as soon as we can. And tonight on Nightly News, what Lester witnessed on his journey, plus up to the minute details on the hostages and what we know about American victims as well.